this presentation is for presenting a special event that we are doing for the first time in the month of November. Uh, looking at this photo, anybody can guess. If if you are a diver or you have a sea uh, enthusiastic, you will probably recognize this photo. Uh, I shall not name. I shall not give away the names. Like I will do that by introducing a very interesting video. Raja Ampat is a place where you can get lost in nature. That's what we want, lost in nature. The name Raja Ampat comes from the four kings, which is Misol, Waigeo, Salawati, and Batanta. Hundreds of small, small islands, rock, islet, the birds, the plants, and the people. You can go scuba diving, you can go snorkeling, which is amazing, kayaking, trekking, find a new species that no one else has seen before. The best way to explore Raja Ampat is by boat. It's like you have a floating hotel and you go diving or snorkeling from the boat and then um, you do your thing. Uh, we are not going to stay in the It's very expensive for Because in this. the last area, you don't get too many people at one place. So you can be at one particular place and be on your own, really. I love to see people going like, wow, look at this. in the water and see all this beauty of the underwater they are flabbergasted okay uh, too much to show i'll just cut short there they come. so raja ampat presenting to you ampat in the uh, malay word is four that's why the four king the four island where it is uh, 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 in in indonesia uh, the whole indonesia of course has many thousand of island uh, the well-known one is Sulawesi for the diving site, but Raja Ampat is even further, much more remote. Exactly where it is in the West Papa. Just now the video already show. Take, take a closer look. So, so long that's where we will have to fly in. That's the only airport. And from there we have to take a uh, boat. Okay, we pay extra for a speedboat. And you will know why later on. So that is the four king there. We are focusing on this South Island Miso. That is the uh, uh, most representative, most uh, beautiful in terms of marine biodiversity and so many things that you can do besides just snorkeling. And the whole Raja Ampat, uh, this is already shown, is literally known as if the underwater world has uh, Amazon, then this will be the last Amazon. Okay, where, what, what, what's so special about this place? Okay, uh, if you have known, there is what we call the coral triangle. It literally means the uh, unspoiled uh, nature, coral reef and everything. Uh, of course, it started on the west side, that will be the uh, Sabah, Malaysia, all the way up to the Philippines. That is uh, full of very uh, well-preserved coral. Uh, and also in the center of course is Sulawesi and as far as the east side Solomon is, uh, just has been included as uh, one of the uh, uh, main component of the coral triangle of course the Papua New Guinea but Raja Ampat currently holds the title of the world's most diverse marine habitat and that is where we are going and oh, it's probably you will, you, will, you will realize that that is very, very remote. It's much more remote than Sulawesi. So, we are going to focus on the uh, one of the main islands, Miso. That is the Miso. Exactly where we're staying. We're not staying on the main island. We are staying at this little, little, tiny little island here. Uh, it's a homestay. Uh, you will notice that during the video, they talk about... Uh, staying on a boat and then you literally sleep on a boat you go snorkeling on a boat and everything uh, that is very expensive huh? <laughs> so uh, to, uh, to 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 save um, cost whatever 
uh, we, we decided to stay on this place. Now this place is not a very simple place. Huh? It is also very hot in the mud. I will show you later on. This is the small little island where the homestay is based on. Do you realize something? This is the only homestay in the whole island which is very small. Huh? So literally if nobody on the island, you, you own the island. <laughs> and therefore it means the rooms whether is it uh, with or without toilet, whatever, it's highly, highly in demand, especially during November, where it's the peak season uh, for diving. So, who are we competing? We're competing with everybody all over the world to, to, to uh, book, book uh, this, uh, this uh, resort. So, it is a, uh, it's a paradise in the sea. And the only way to get here is not by chopper, you, it's by either private uh, speedboat or public ferry which is very infrequent and take very very long in order to save time we decided to pay extra for a speedboat now we can only get a smaller speedboat because big one has been booked uh, for the date that we want to go uh, therefore those who are still sitting on the ferry line decided to please understand the urgency of this uh, we may can get a ticket there but there's no room for us if it's all booked out right now we are we are tentatively reserved on the standard room by a certain deadline we will have to pay for the room or we have to give up the room so I don't know when is the deadline but please decide ASAP more on this place okay this island is is, is really a gem it is a jewel in the middle of the sea and all the seas are crystal clear Okay, the beach is white sandy powder beach and your where you're staying is like directly on top of the water so you will have the sea breeze to sing lullaby to you every night and it's going to be a very very sweet sleep every night uh, we're going to stay here for three nights yep three nights uh, this is a closer look this is how it looks like um, may not be as good as though you see in Maldives or, or, or other places but uh, these are simple basic uh, standard room uh, they do have old bungalows and new bungalows and more about it later on but it's very rustic very simple the idea is the more thing you put on it the more you're going to pollute the ocean so that is the, the way they preserve the island there's another more expensive uh, resort uh, it's called a miso uh, eco resort that's very very expensive okay there's a little bit more like resort hotel that kind of thing so we are not staying in that kind of expensive place okay there's another look this is what you're gonna see every morning I think on this side that's where you have breakfast looking out to see that is surely where we have a good sleep last night and uh, okay the standard room the way that we're given the land cost whatever is based on standard room basically it's just uh, two mattresses for two person twin uh, toilet is outside uh, I think about 10 meter plus plus minus uh, shower is a set different places a little bit further by 50 meters I don't which is but it's very basic rustic kind of thing uh, good enough good enough seriously you're just going back there every day to sleep <laughs> okay you want to pay a little bit more the old bungalow has uh, toilet attached but uh, right now the two the only two old bungalow has been booked so now we have to move on to the new one the new one is much more expensive I already sent out email talk, uh, talking about the rates that you have to pay which I think is not really worth it just to get to the new bungalow I think the standard room is good enough uh, for me <laughs> okay uh, a little bit from here going to hell but it's just for three nights <laughs> ah sorry four nights Okay, the room, and this is the outside of it. it that's your room. Looks beautiful. I think um, I don't know if you're sleeping outside. The breeze, the sea breeze, is gonna be so nice. Okay, besides snorkeling, which is the main focus we have, we if we have time, we can explore certain beautiful cave. Cave. Uh, we will also be uh, climbing up some places to look at something else. But this, uh, I will tell you more later later now optional diving there is uh, one of the day that we have planned if anybody of course certified divers only uh, uh, you can pay extra uh, to have three dives in the concert uh, three dives in a day of course with all the equipment provided uh, to get even further to see but if you're lucky which i think uh, very high chance uh, mental rays are pretty common there pretty common there but uh, the big one the giant one and uh, recently cited was a uh, 
a white or albino uh, manta ray was sighted there recently. Uh, this is not the first time, but this is a recent sighting. Uh, let's quickly show you the video. So apparently, this white and rare giant mantle is feeding. It looks like waving. And it's, and it's very big. So it's... They were lucky to watch it from the bit on the, on the boat, sorry. It's very amazing. Of course, if you are just swimming next to it, it will, the, the experience will be much more intense. Okay, so, um, no guarantee we have this, ah. Uh, disclaimer, ah. Uh. Okay, uh, proceeding on to the uh, presentation. So, uh, you can see many, many things. Uh, literally, sometimes even directly from your room, looking down. <laughs> okay, oops, sorry. Click on thing. Okay, next. Okay, this is the itinerary. This is the uh, detail itinerary. So on the first of November, it's a Friday night. We take an overnight flight to Jakarta, where we will then take a uh, a flight to this place called Sorong. We arrive there at five five thirty six thirty in the morning. So we have a full day ahead on the second of uh, November. We will be transferred to Miso. Private island, remember the homestay? Private speedboat. Okay, about three, four hours, can't remember, but uh, it's a nice ride. Uh, then we'll check in, and immediately, once you settle down, we will go to uh, do a little bit of walk up. It's not really a trek. Uh, uh, to this place called the uh, Dafalan, it's actually a left lagoon. Okay, can you see this heart shaped thingy? It's actually a lagoon. And see, can you see the other heart? Yep. That is the other heart. So it's a twin. It's it's amazing. It's it's a creation. It's an art of God. I don't know why the thing whole thing shapes like a heart. And of course, that's the best part that you can take photo from there. Okay. So that is the second day. The on the third of uh, on uh, that uh, November. It's a full day snorkeling at different places, mental way, bow island. These are may not mean anything to you, but when you're there, it, the, you will just be mesmerized. Okay. So on the third of November, hopefully you we get enough people, so you can pay a price of two million for three dive in a day with a minimum three dive. We will plan on this, but the interchangeable with four or six if the weather is not as good. But November used to be better chances. So the next day, again, uh, a little bit of caving, jellyfish lake, stingless jellyfish, okay? Trekking up to take another beautiful Instagram photo on the fourth day. So a bit of uh, hiking, a bit of cave, a bit of uh, snorkeling on the fourth of November. On the fifth, continue at different sites, the Three Sister, the beach, and whatever. Now, these this places are really like uh, out of nowhere. The, when, when you are here, you really feel like you're, you are not on earth, okay? It's so beautiful. Uh, this is a speedboat. Uh, now we have the smaller size one, the 16-seater. So we only can take in 14. Right now we left about 7 slot. So that's the reason why uh, those who are on the release, please decide sooner. On the 6th of November, that's where we fly back. So it's a very short uh, holiday, but enough to cover the main uh, important site of uh, Miso Island. So on the 6th, that's where we return. Uh, have a last uh, minute shopping, go to lunch, and then we fly back. Afternoon, uh, we reach Singapore, I think, uh, on the same day. So uh, how many days leave? Uh, let me see, three days leave. Okay, that is the land cost. That is the speedboat, and the cost is one zero five zero sing dollar. Uh, all meals included. All the meals included. Okay. Uh, all the whatever fees are, whatever compulsory fees that need to be marine park fee, yeah, the transfer because the four nights dorm style stays in the standard room. Uh, single traveler will be matched in the same in the same room with the same gender. Okay, English speaking guy. All the activity leading costs, the private speedboat, the entrance to Jarak Raja Ampat, Miso Island. Destination documentation, drone and GoPro, our guy is very good at that. Car pickup, 
Now, so the moment we reach airport, well, we are taken care of. Okay, mineral water, our speedboat. It doesn't include any snacks. The one by your own. Uh. Flights, I will talk about it later. Diving is optional. The tips, this kind of thing. And look at that. Of course, these are some small little thing that we always have to pay. Okay, so that is the uh, cost that you have to pay. The flight cost uh, right now is about 600 plus plus. So plus the land cost, you are looking at 1007 max max. Uh, yep. 1050 yeah one yeah thousand seven yeah uh for uh island resort that is uh it is one of the most uh, renounced uh, uh in the world you will book with the skill the ticket is about there so i think that's a good way uh so that's the flight thingy i'm talking about so friday night reach the reach jakarta about nine plus then uh overnight flight reach strong at six thirty it's very direct coming there is a little bit more complicated because there's no direct flight uh, from so long we have to trans we need to, need to have two stops okay here luckily not too long uh, here and here therefore we Singapore also almost midnight uh, yes a little bit of rush but a short holiday enough to uh, uh, the sixth day even though it's short but you you will never forget the uh, experience you have in uh, such a beautiful underwater world okay uh, in terms of uh, uh, difficulty ratings you're gonna have uh, hot meals after uh, breakfast and dinner. Lunch maybe just pack lunch and prepare lunch. Okay, I'm not sure about Wi-Fi. Come on, just three four days detox a bit. Huh? no activity problem. Shower every day. So I'm gonna really a little bit. Um, I don't think that you you need to be very water confident. Uh, a bit of swimming and also uh, be, uh, practice a bit with the uh, scuba diving fin and the gear will be uh, good enough I will highly recommend if you can go and uh, borrow or go and buy the very common snorkeling face mask you see from Decathlon yeah that, that is very convenient uh, but you cannot dive with it <laughs> it's good enough for you to see from the survey because the water is so clear so so clear okay so that should complete the uh, presentation info for Raja Ampat so the underwater world thank you for listening bye